What is going on YouTube? Kronos here and welcome back to the PSO2 video. So today's video we're going to talk about, actually I'm not even, I'm not sure I'm going to even announce this, but before we jump in all of that guys, if you're new to the channel, Kronos, I do content over here on YouTube, not so much daily, but we cover mostly PSO2 stuff, um, essentially as interesting things pop up. If you guys want to keep up with the content, if you're a fan of PSO2, just found the channel, be sure to subscribe as we work towards that 10k mark. But Let's go ahead and jump into this. So as most of you guys know, I have been playing a ton of PSO2. I've been playing other games, playing Final Fantasy XIV, Star Wars The Old Republic, among other options. Now, realistically, there hasn't been a lot for me to do in PSO2, and I'm not really that upset about it. But the topic I wanted to talk with you guys about today specifically is, I'm just going to come out and say it, stop over-romanticizing PSO2. Just just stop. It, it's become... To the point that I, I wanted to do this video while I was still recovering from my uh, my second COVID shot because of how much I've seen this. It's absolutely insane. I'm gonna tab out really quick, but it's absolutely insane how much I see this happening over and over and over again in the PSO2 community. Um, now, granted, it's not everyone. Everyone has different opinions and they're kind of going about things differently. But what I've seen happen a lot, now this, again, this doesn't relate to every single individual. There's been a lot of people talking about different things that make perfect sense, but not only in the community itself, but also in content creators, talking about things they feel like that Sega is screwing up or that they're doing wrong and so on and so forth. And while I do agree with some of these points, the, the, uh, the level that we're holding the entire game to is higher than what they even projected they were releasing in the first place. And let me explain what I mean. Because I don't want to sit here and just ramble on for days and for hours, you know, hours on hours about what was going on. Because I, as we all know, I can ramble forever. Even then, I just wasted 15 seconds. Um, but when PSO2 was being announced, they did prologues. And prologues showed what the game is going to have in it. Now, we're talking before we played through the game, before we knew what was coming, what was going to be in the game itself. A lot of us were very hyped for PSO2. We just came off of playing, you know, six years, seven years, eight years worth of content in one year. It was insane. It was a lot of fun. Things went fairly quickly. If there wasn't something to do every two weeks or something to do at least once a month. So we always found something that we wanted to, you know, to grind towards, to build up, so on and so forth. A lot of us had, you know, we knew what was coming, so we knew how to prepare properly. It was a good time and a lot of us thrived. Um, I try to share that information with you guys to the best of my ability, as you know, as it became relevant with all of our predictions, so on and so forth, which by the way, those are going to come back again when we have content that's worth covering. But right now, it's not really that big of a deal. There's not a lot of that I really want to cover on my end. And there's plenty of information out there, so no worries. We'll definitely get that information. But it was a great time. Now, they showed these prologues off, and they showed us what's going to be in the game. And hindsight is 2020. Now that we've played it, we can see that, you know, maybe we need more. But back then, we didn't know what was coming at the end. We didn't know everything that was going to be there. However, they were very, very straightforward with us. And it it shows um, now, granted, this isn't perfect. They did mention that some of this stuff is subject to change, and it was changed. Um, when the game released, I believe it was June 9th, we had, of course, level cap at 20, six classes, and the Isla region released. Um, JP and Global went out at the same time. That all happened. We had some issues with bugs, had some lag problems, but overall, the game was a really, really good time. Now, I do wish there was more story at launch. We do definitely want more story. There should have been a bit more depth and those sorts of things. But again, this is a retrospective. This is after the fact we've played through it. We can say that there should have been this or there should have been that because guess what? We've already been through it. We didn't know ahead of time. But or so we didn't know or we know now that we didn't know beforehand. We were just looking at this thinking, all right, cool. We got the game coming. We're ready to play it. We've just been smashing through content left and right. We had this, you know, this amped accelerated time frame that we've been going through the game and it was a good time Plus, basically we got pushed forward to some of the best times in the game episode six and pso2 was fantastic it was a fun fun time to play the game itself having a good time with friends tons of repeatable content so on and so forth right so fast forward on we get through june we're dealing with a lot of bugs working on a couple of things we get to the first anniversary event the anniversary event not exactly the best um i'll be honest it was a bit bland i wasn't a huge fan of it but Realistically, this is the only event they actually said they were doing, like an actual anniversary event. So they showed off a new lobby. The lobby was super cool. I was actually excited about seeing that. Um, but the way the event worked, not really a big fan of it. You know, offer some feedback sort of thing. But they really didn't announce that there was going to be anything else. Everything else that we saw popping up was things they announced after the fact. There were things they added into it. So for me, when I was looking at this, I don't know how much content we had, but this looked a little bit light. 
for um for what we have over the next six months basically it didn't show a lot of information so it was like oh well it's going to depend on what's going to be in the game when we actually start playing it but much like a lot of other people i played everything we possibly could have i went in super hard i leveled every single class played all different types of weapons tried to understand every piece of the game i possibly could did all of the story learned about all the characters so on and so forth and then afterwards nothing and to be perfectly honest i wasn't surprised they told us there wouldn't be anything we didn't have any new content coming up so we ran out of stuff to do i was like okay well PS2 goes back to being my secondary game, but man, the number of people that I have seen recently on social media, on all over the place, trashing Sega, talking about the game is going to die, the game is dead, really must have never played PSO2 beforehand. Obviously, I mean, it's not fair to say, you know, you didn't know about this, you've never been around, so on and so forth, but it's crazy to see the number of people that are just like so surprised that they're doing exactly what they said they were going to do. They laid out what their plans were ahead of time. They showed us exactly what they wanted to release and when they wanted to release it. And now we're surprised. And that's what really blows my mind. And the only thing I could think of is we're over romanticizing the game. We see what it could possibly be. And in our minds, if they're not doing just that, then they're screwing up, which honestly, I'm right there with you. I really want a lot of these systems that a lot of people are talking about. However, they told us what they're doing, right? We can offer our feedback, but I'm not expecting them to just throw these things into the game immediately because one, I'm not a game designer. I don't know what it takes to make a lot of these things. And two, they already told us what they're going to be working on. So if they deviate from what they're working on, granted, you know, taking feedback is great, but if they deviate what they're working on because the player base says we just need this immediately, it, while I want a, a game company to you know, be a bit malleable, like the, you know they listen to the player base, I don't want them just to bend to the player's will. That's how we have a lot of games that don't really do very well. So obviously they've got a vision, they're working towards something. It's just, we got through what they had available to us way too early. We got through it very, very quickly and it wasn't very, very in depth. There's tons of content been based PSO2 for us to go through. And we had, we were very, very fortunate to have a ton of time or not a ton of, we had a small amount of time with a ton of content. It was super fun. And honestly, it's still there. I plan to go back and do quite a few things in base PSO2 once I finish, you know, my little stint in Star Wars and Final Fantasy and so on and so forth. I plan to go back and do things like Endless and just have a good time and just relax until I wait till the next, you know, next big release, which is going to be Bouncer for me. But I've seen some stuff that they're working on. And granted, I don't really report on like data mines and things like that because I don't like to report on that sort of thing. But people have been sending me the stuff that they've been uh, seeing and a lot of it's really, really good. Honestly. I'm just blown away by the number of people that are truly surprised that this is what's happening when they told us this is what's happening before the game even released. Again, I'm not saying that we shouldn't have content. I'm not saying that it shouldn't be perfect. And we shouldn't have everything we absolutely want in the game itself. I'm saying, why are you surprised when they told us exactly what we're looking at? It just, it's crazy to me. So don't over romanticize the game. If it's not what you're looking for right now, man, walk away. There are plenty of my friends that are like, you know what? I'm going to quit playing until it has something that I really want to play. And that's totally fine. I have friends that are saying, you know what? I'm going to speak with my wallet, not with yelling at the game itself, because I don't want to ruin it for other people. Because the truth is, is new players that are come playing the game are enjoying it. And realistically, we're all upset because we want more excuses to play. I just jumped in the game to do the event stuff and take care of a few things. And honestly, and if it felt like a chore, I was actually having a lot of fun, a ton of fun, because the combat for me is super fun. It's just there's nothing for me to do. I've done everything. I've done all of it mostly. This event, after I'm finished with doing the event stuff, I'm done again until Bouncer comes out. And then I'm going to level Bouncer. And if the trigger, you know, the trigger quests aren't great or the, NG, the uh, NGS mission pass system isn't fantastic, I'll be waiting until the winter update. So that's just how it is. I highly, highly recommend maybe if you're not having the most fun PSO2, set it to the side. Don't ruin it for yourself in the future. That's a lot of my friends have been very, very smart about, you know, saying, you know what? I'm going to wait, go play something else for a while. The game's not going to just shut down because you guys aren't playing it. There are tons of people that are stubborn and they're going to keep playing it themselves, but I want you guys to be smarter and not ruin it for yourselves. Come back and enjoy the game when it has what you're looking for, because realistically, that's the best time to play. And trust me when I say Sega does get their act together. They usually figure these things out when people are like, well, we're not going to play now. And then people stop spending money on, uh, on scratches. And then all of a sudden, all of the changes that we talk about start you're in their ugly heads and if you have any doubt go back and look at you know 
things like oh let's see what, what example can i give um weapon or 12 star weapon passes go back and look at things that are pso2 like uh things that existed before we had super special abilities ssas um before you were able to transfer things over very easily when it came to augmenting and look at what ngs is with augmentation now trust me when i say when you hit say a word it hurts sometimes they start to listen so if you're not having fun take a break step aside come back to the game later but don't be surprised when they do exactly what they tell us they're going to do now i have different feelings on the event I'm not surprised the event is what it is. I mean, it's not exactly great. I would have hoped it would have been better. I'm hoping they do something better for um, for Halloween, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Maybe it'll look cool. Maybe they'll have cool cosmetics. Maybe that's the reason to keep the game installed is just to grab cosmetics when you see them for free. But other than that, guys, take a break. Have some fun with some other stuff. And I will see all of you when there's an update that you're looking forward to. Not when everyone says you should play, but when you see something that you want to play, that's the best time to jump in. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching all the end. I know I haven't made a lot of videos recently um, with everything that's been going on at home recently, as well as dealing with um, <laughs> dealing with the second shot that I had to take for, uh, for COVID and recovering from that, as well as my schedule recently just changed at work. So now I work evenings trying to figure out what I'm doing for streaming. So if you do see a stream pop up, it's either going to be on my day off or it's going to be late at night. So keep an eye out on the Discord. Of course, follow the Twitter or join us over on... Um, Actually, just keep an eye. If you're subscribed on YouTube, you'll be able to see when the streams go up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I got my point across decently. I don't want you all to you know, feel like you can't be upset about things because I'm right there with you. But at the same time, man, tailor your expectations. They let us know about these things ahead of time. Just pay attention. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out.